Hi, we're going to read a book called The Worrysaurus. It's about a little dinosaur that often gets a worry. Let's see what he does to make himself feel better. Let's learn some signs that will help us with this book. The sign for worry, you need two index hands. Place them up the side of your head and then move them forwards and backwards alternately. To worry. The sign for dinosaur, you need a working flat hand. Turn it so your palm is facing to you. Then you're going to make three movements back to your shoulder. One, two, three. Then clawed hands move forward. So dinosaur. Dinosaur. Now let's link these two together for the sign Worrysaurus. 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 To think, this time a working index hand. Let's place this at the side of our head. Think. The sign for day, you need flat hands. Place them in front of your face and then arc out. Day. For happy, you need two cupped hands. You're then going to strike your working hand across your supporting hand. Happy. The sign for no, to know something, you need a working thumb hand. Place this at the side of your head. To know. The sign for scared or to fear something, you need a working clawed hand. Place it over your working side and then quiver. Scared. Fear. For the sign picnic, there are two parts to learn. First, you need a working bent hand. You're then just going to tilt it forward at the wrist. That's for outside. And then we're going to make it into a bunched hand and place it at the side of your mouth. That's for food. Picnic. Now that you've learnt all these signs, let's see if we can read and sign the story together. On a hot and sunny morning, under lovely clear blue skies, a little worry source was opening his eyes. He brushed his tiny pointy teeth, then washed his top and tail. He packed a little bag of snacks and set off on a trail. He skipped along with happy legs across the golden sand and thought about the day that he had plotted, sketched and planned. A lovely yummy picnic, a delicious summer spread. Worrysaurus liked it when he knew what lay ahead. But he hadn't gotten far, you see, it hadn't been that long, before his busy head had dreamed up some things that might go wrong. Had he made enough to eat that day, and brought enough to drink? This worry source often was a one to overthink. What if I get lost, he thought, or trip and have a fall? His happy legs were slowing to a snuffly, shuffly crawl. Worry source liked it when he felt he was prepared. Unexpected happenings. They made him feel quite scared. So when suddenly, from nowhere, a lizard skittered by, shouting in a squeaky yelp and pointing at the sky, I think a storm is coming! I heard it's on its way! Well, that really put a cloud above his Worrysaurus day. A storm, said Worrysaurus, when it's so dry and hot and sunny. But the news became a butterfly that flittered in his tummy. I'm not ready for the rain, he said. 
I haven't got my wellies. His teeth began to chatter, and his knees, they turned to jellies. And all the while, the sky was blue, the sun it shone and shone, and now his lovely picnic thoughts were definitely gone. Should he find a cave to shelter, or run back home and hide? His little worry butterfly grew very strong inside. But then he thought of something that his mummy liked to say. Oh, my little worry saurus, chase that butterfly away! Don't you worry now, my lovely. You must try not to fret. If it's not a happy ending, then it hasn't ended yet. So he reached into his bag just then to find a little tin. It helped him with his worries. It had happy things within. A special stick, his teddy Ned, a pebble, and a letter. And as he held them one by one, so everything felt better. Then he put away his tin and all the worries in his head, freed his little butterfly for happy thoughts instead. I'll stand up tall. I can be strong. I'll chase my fears away. All is good and all is well, and everything's okay. And with those little wordlings, he calmed his busy brain. Since when the sun is shining, why worry it will rain? So he shared his little picnic with the lizard in the sun, and they laughed at all their worrying and really had some fun. Since when you're in the moment, there's no need to run or hide, and then the only butterflies. Will be the ones outside. I hope you enjoyed reading and signing this lovely story. Next time you get a worry, think about what might make you feel better. Bye bye for now.